In the last uh, video, we saw how to enter data, but many times uh, you don't need to enter data from the scratch. Many times uh, clients always already have the data in Excel, uh, either in Excel format or in text format or in any other uh, database. So the question is, how do we import a file which is which is not in SPSS environment, which is in a different format? So uh, let me just show you an example of a file which is in CSV format and how uh, we will be importing a CSV file into a SPSS environment. I'm right now, uh, let me go to E drive, SPSS source files. There's a file uh, here, which is uh, called as bankloan.csv. Let me just uh, fire it open. So this is the file, as you can see here, uh, the header, the uh, file header is here. ID, age, education level, uh, years with the current employer, address, income, debt to income ratio, credit debt, other debt, default, and the uh, few predicted uh, columns, uh, which have been obtained from uh, previously built models. You can see here, uh, the data begins from the second row onwards. So this is a CSV file. Many times the client uh, may have the file, uh, which is uh, in CSV format. How do we import this into SPSS? We don't have to type each and every row, each and every value once again. How do we quickly import this file? That is the goal of this uh, particular file. Now, even before we import this particular file, uh, there, is, uh, there is something important that we need to observe. There are two things that we need to observe. The two questions that you need to always ask yourself when you're dealing with the CSP file is, ask yourself the first question, which is, what does the first row contain? The very first row, as you can see here, contains the column names. The very first row contains the column names. Second question that you need to ask uh, yourself is, what is the delimiter as far as two columns are concerned? Uh, had it been a, a Excel file, you can, uh, you can store the data in each cell very, very neatly and very, very systematically. But in the case of a CSV file, you need to be very, very uh, clear as to what is the delimiter. When I say delimiter in this particular file, it is a comma. Sometimes it can be a space. Sometimes it can be a text. So two observations that I need to make here is uh, the row header, the file header, which is basically uh, the column names. And the second observation that I make here is uh, basically uh, the fact that uh, two columns are separated by a comma. One of the most important things is that you can't open the file and uh, try to open it again in SPSS. SPSS uh, will throw uh, errors. So let me just uh, close this. Let me come back to my uh, SPSS environment. This is my SPSS environment. I'll just click on the file menu. Now, as you click on the file menu, the third option from the top uh, is about importing the data. The third option from the top, as you can see, is uh, importing the data. Uh, if you are uh, working in a lower version of SPSS, let's say uh, SPSS uh, 15 or 16, uh, this particular option may uh, look slightly different, but you can again import the data uh, more or less the same way. Now it gives me a variety of options like importing from Excel, CSV, text. Question is, what should I choose? Uh, since my uh, source file is CSV. Uh, by the way, CSV stands for comma separated values as you all know. So let me just click on this particular option. It fires a new uh, window, which expects me to specify the path of the file. Where is the location of the file? I'll click on the drop down menu here. And since my source file is in E drive, what I'll do is I'll just click on uh, E drive here. This PC, from this PC, I can locate E drive. I've got three folders here. My file is uh, in uh, SPSS uh, source file. I can just double click on this particular uh, folder. I can enter this particular uh, uh, folder. Uh, what I can do here is uh, in the drop down menu, I can choose all files. The moment I choose all files, uh, it shows me bank loan CSV. This is the file which I want to import. Choose the uh, file name, and then you can just choose the option open. It just uh, shows a message uh, saying that it is generating a preview. Uh, you can see here that this is the preview that it has generated. I can clearly see that uh, the column names 
are uh, appearing right at the start and my actual data begins from the second row onwards. Now, it also gives you a few options uh, here. Delimiter uh, between values is comma. Sometimes if you have a semicolon or a tab, you can just do the appropriate option. You can just do this and then you can click on the option OK. And you can see here, the entire file within a span of seconds has come to your SPSS environment. So this, this is the file that I wanted to import, ID, education, uh, years for the current employee, address, so on and so forth. Now, SPSS uh, tries to import this particular file, uh, but uh, as I said, SPSS does not have brain. Uh, it tries to sort of uh, uh, assign the variable type. ID is uh, mistakenly assigned as a scale variable. The moment you see a yellow colored cylinder here, it means that a yellow colored bar here represents a scale variable. Education has been able to recognize as a nominal variable, but ID is not a scale variable. It has to be a nominal variable. ID is nominal, age is scale, uh, education is uh, nominal, uh, years with a current employee with the uh, scale, address is scale. When we say address here, uh, what we are referring to is number of years that he has spent with in the current location. So when you say 12 years, he has spent 12 years in the current location. Second person has spent six years. Income and debt to income ratio, all of these are scale. Credit debt is a scale variable. Other debt is also a scale variable. And default, uh, it's correctly uh, recognized as a nominal variable because it is a flag variable zero and one. So what I can do is either I can uh, uh, click on Control T to move to the variable view, or else uh, what I can do is I can just double click on the variable ID. I've just uh, made one click here. Let me just double click. The moment I double click, it just directly uh, takes me to the metadata, that is the variable view. Here, I can just choose the measurement type as a nominal variable, right? Because ID is not a scale variable. You can't do any analysis with this particular variable. So this is how my uh, data appears. From this stage onwards, I can uh, do all my analysis in SPSS. Thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, video. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.